What's good everyone? What is good? Welcome back to the channel with your show of course, Machiavelli. Hope you all are having a great day today and today we're back with another Sims 4 speed build. Today's speed build we are making what it's called. Give me a second. You know I love to read the description of what these houses or apartments are called. Um, oh this is actually, from what I see this one is located in Norway. Fun. It looks like it's from an old factory. Um, it's taking me to Reddit. Cool. Um, so it's like an old horseshoe factory in Nor in Ols, Norway. Um, what's it called again? I hate I hate all of it. What an odd arrangement. Have some random. Sorry, I'm just reading. Okay, the ladder is definitely weird. Sorry, I'm just reading um, some of the comments. People really don't like this apartment. I thought it was cool. I thought. I like the minimalistic look of it, of the, all the all white of it, but then I also liked how they added different like pops of like, I don't say color, but it's more like texture into it. Like there's wood and then you have the gray couch and then you have the black windows backing onto the black like lofted area. You know, it kind of ties in, gives you kind of this like lofty chi I'll say urban lofty chi like it makes you feel like yeah you're in a factory building but it, it I guess because of the white it kind of brightens up the place and also has a really nice like sheen to it I don't know how to describe it actually I literally just came with that on the spot I'm pretty talking out my bum hole right now so if I'm making no sense I'm not, I'm not making this up to me either so enjoy I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to act artistic you know because I never really talk about my builds I thought you know what let's go ahead and give you guys a grand like a grand like intro like description of my idea process when I was making this that's a lie that, that was not a lie I really did want to make it really like fun but I want to make it very vibrant when it comes to like the greens of the plants. Like I added a lot of plants in this. I probably added, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I added seventeen plants to the bowl. That's, it's not too bad actually. Could add it way more before the amount of space it has. Seven seventeen's pretty good. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to add a, like, a nice earthy tone to it. I feel like with all the white, I feel like to make it more homey and more, like, I don't say livable, or just, just give it more of a welcoming feel, because with me, when you, when you put too much white on things, it just makes it feel very sterile. It makes you feel like you can't really touch anything. It, it just makes make everything feel so, like, I don't want to say bland, but it just, it takes away that homey feel that I love, and it, it, it just adds this, like, quote-unquote, elegance to which i know people find like for example if you go to like a modern house i talked this about before but when we go to a modern house and you see people decorate with these high fashion and it's very um minimalistic but they have like these very nice cushions and everything's like white and pristine and gray it just it feels very sterile and it feels like to me you can't touch it it feels like someone doesn't live there. it feels like it's a show home you know it's one of those homes you find on magazines that no one really lives in um you know, those type of things. Like, I'd rather have a house like Ikea, even though, like, those houses, like, in those, like, little mini apartments in Ikea, I'd rather have those with, yeah, they're very cluttered because in Ikea, of course, they put clutter everywhere because they want to sell stuff, but it feels very, you know, cozy to me. I, I love when people add in different, like, okay, I guess I love when people add in different aspects and, like, makes of homey, which it could be family portraits, which it could be plants for me, because I love adding plants. I feel like plants gives that homey touch or that lived in um, touch or that just that energy, a good energy. That's actually not talking about my art. That's actually how I feel. Fun fact, I know. Um, I just feel like plants give out a good, a good vibe. So I always have plants in my rooms, even though they're fake because I can't take care of plants. Um, uh, but yeah, I just thought of adding some like greenery to this build will, will, will brighten it up. And I really like the way it came out. I really do. Like it's been a long time since I truly love the build, and I really do like this one. I think it's one of my favorite builds I've built in a while. I don't know. It just again, I just like the off white with the with the plants. I don't know. White and gray, white, white, white and uh, like a green plants just do it for me. Don't know what it is. It just does. They just do this too. But um, anyways, I hope you all do in like the apartment or and hope you guys do like the lofted area. And it's actually a loft. I've again, I've made so much quote unquote lofts lately, but they haven't actually been lofted. So this one's actually a loft for you guys. So enjoy. Um, but yeah. Uh, anyways, guys, today is Tuesday, which means the new pack of 
um, Snowy Getaway. I don't remember what it's called. Um, Snowy Grove? I don't, I don't remember. Oh, sorry, really on. I just woke up literally like two hours ago. But anyways, um, Snowy Gro- I can't remember. But anyways, the new expansion pack comes out on Friday. So two days from now. Actually, it comes out Thursday night, practically. They say Friday, but it comes out at like Thursday at literally midnight. Like, comes out Thursday midnight. So, um... Yeah, by the I I'm quite excited for this battle P. I'm quite excited for the split leveling. No, the split leveling comes with the new ex, like the new um the new what's it called again? The new update. I ha- it's out right now. I haven't downloaded it yet because I wanted to build this first. I didn't want to break my game. I knew it was going to break my game, so I was kind of dreading it. I'm actually gonna have to go ahead and like exit off of this. Oh, bye game. Bye, bye my beautiful game. I have to go update my game now. It sucks, but. Yeah, all my mods are about to break on me. It's, it's going to be a great time. I literally pre-recorded about 55 episodes of Life with the Pearsons because I knew for a fact I wanted to play it for like a week or two because I have to get my mods back and I can't play my other mods. I really can't. Um, so since I have no clue again, I don't know who how bad this patch is going to be. It could be very good. The last patch that happened for um stupid, stupid Star Wars. Yes, I, I will forever-ish on Star Wars. That was such a stupid pack. But um... And the other thing that also bugs me about that Star Wars thing is they made it $30 here. Normally it's $25 for a game pack. They thought since it was themed, people would pay the extra 5 bucks. No. No. Um, but anyways, that happened. But, yeah. The Star Wars update destroyed my game. Like, it destroyed my Windows. But, oh. It destroyed my windows, my doors, and my arches, which I'll never forgive that pack for. Because I love those windows and arches. I've collected those arches and windows and doors for years. Years. And they're all gone now. I can't use them. They're in a separate... I think I actually deleted them. No, there should be a separate file on my computer. But, yeah. No. My bad. I still have them. But, yeah. I have those things. I love those arches. I love those doors. Those are my babies. And they're all gone now. Um, hopefully this patch fixes them. Do I think it's gonna happen? No, but hopefully it doesn't create like a catastrophe that happened the last game because that was, that was completely terrible. I I'll never I'll never be. Able, I don't think my game has ever run the same <laughs> since since that update. Um, but yeah, and then the, also the big hassle of because I use MC Command Mod and I have my. <sighs> I for the yawns. Um, I have my games dedicated. A certain way to play the game because if I don't play it that way I don't know I like I like adding different types of drama different types of stuff into my game so I have to have that mod directly put on each settings up to my standard if that makes any sense wow it sounds so professional um for a video game but um yeah I have to do that and so I'm gonna have to go ahead and download the next patch and just do that all over again sometimes it takes me like 30 minutes to get my thing my game working properly and then i have to go back and forth making sure the mods work and then if they, once thing crashes go check that and the only thing i hope though is that my cc doesn't crash if my cc crashes then bruh i'm gonna be up all night um i'm gonna be up all night <laughs> fixing this thing and it's gonna suck it's gonna suck donkey you know what um good news though on the good end is cc links for my other builds will be up before you see this video i finished one of them i just have to save it and i'm starting on the next one so there you go and there will be cc links for this one too so there you guys go um i just need to like before i do anything before i do anything oh god oh god oh god no shoot Please tell me it still works because I sometimes for my um it's tray importer I need to be on game for me to get the CC but I just close down my game and if I want to open my game again I have to do the flipping update so um okay never mind it works okay I'm good I'm good I'm good I'm good so yeah CC links will be up for this one too probably around four o'clock or so I don't know depends on when I have time to get everything done because I got stuff stacking up on me plus I have an eight break plus it's like two o'clock in the afternoon having breakfast yeah so i'll eat that um but yeah other than that hope y'all are great hope y'all are excited hope y'all are enjoying the pack or the patch um i hope it's doing well hope it's not destroying your game like it's always does i'll keep you guys updated on me because if i if i come tomorrow like happy joy go lucky person um then you're gonna be getting a good malik um well first of all here's the thing if i if i if you tomorrow this will depend tomorrow if you see um a build like a house build my game's destroyed but if you see an apartment build my game is fine that that, that that's the cue or i might just do a house build because i've done a long time 
No, I'll do that. I'll do that. That will do. So if my if my CC still works, I have an actually apartment that I want to try out, test out, and I'm build. I will build that for you guys. But if my game's totally destroyed and there's no coming back for it, then I'll go ahead and I'll make an apartment or I'll make um a house for you guys because there are some houses that I want to build with no CC. So I'll do that for the rest of the week or something until I fix my game. But other than that, that's pretty much it for me. Hope you're doing great. Hope you'll have a great patch day. Um, anything else I want to talk about real quick? Not really. Um, again, it's been a very, very chill week. A very hectic, chill week since last week. So, I'm just, I'm just floating. I hope everyone's doing well, though. Hope everyone's safe. And, of course, I will see you all in the next one. I love how this part was just me ranting about The Sims 4, Star Wars, and just me being, I don't know, this, 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 I feel like this commentary was very, very, I don't even know. It was very chill. Very chill. I'm even talking in a chill tone, maybe because I feel like a lot has happened in the last few days. I just need to chill out. So I'm, I'm very mellow right now. But hopefully, this smells yeah. I know some people say my voice relaxes them. Like I'm this close to starting an ASMR channel because, you know, if you guys know that, I love ASMR. A-M. Okay, I'm done. A-M-R. I love to do that. I love to tease you guys because I know you guys hate it. <laughs> I know you all hate that so much. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Hope you all enjoyed this commentary. And, of course, I will see you all, you beautiful people. I guess I can't see y'all. I guess y'all, y'all can't even see me. Um, I, I guess I will hopefully have you guys tuning in tomorrow. <laughs> that just sounds weird. Anyways, I hope to see you guys tomorrow. And I'll see you on the next one. I'm out. This is peace. Bye. Later. I love y'all. Peace.